you know, tungsten and soft plastics have become so popular with panfish anglers through the ice last couple of years, and there's a lot to like about tungsten and soft plastics, and since it, it drops fast, I think the soft plastic combined with tungsten has a lot of action where it pulls fish in from greater distances, and so a lot of times they'll have a tendency to catch big fish, but think of these tungsten soft plastic combinations as like a crankbait for panfish in the sense that these lures, these baits have to be tuned to catch fish, and so if it's out of tune, it's not going to catch nearly as many fish. And so when they make a tungsten jig, they actually weld the eyelet and the hook into the jig. It's not molded, and so sometimes that can be off kilter. And so this here is a, this is a the drop jig from Clam Tackle. These jigs have been excellent, great hooks on them, but make sure that your knot is perfectly symmetrical, that eyelet is perfectly symmetrical, that hook is lined up straight where it's not off kilter, and make sure that your soft plastic it's hooked up perfectly symmetrical, so that way when you pound it in the water and dance it, it's like a pendulum on a clock, just like a crankbait in the summertime when you're tuning a crankbait behind your boat. If that jig swings one way, it has to come back the other way. It's got to be perfectly, just like a pendulum on a clock. If it goes off kilter or, or spins off, you're not going to catch nearly as many fish. And so consider that when you're ice fishing, you're going to catch a lot more and a lot bigger panfish this winter.